Good afternoon guys, uh, what we have here for review is the very luxurious 2018-2019 Toyota Land Cruiser and thankfully we had a friend who lent his Land Cruiser to us for this very special episode of Honest Car Reviews. So the engine is a 5.7 liter diesel, uh, it is turbo and the SRP of this is around 4.5 to 4.8. And this is perceived as one of the most luxurious SUVs that you could get from the Japanese market. Let's start with the dimension of the car. The length is 5,170 mm, the width is 1,980 mm, and the height is an astonishing 1,945 mm. The wheelbase is 2,850 mm, which means it's a very, very long car. We have five doors and we can sit about eight people. So as for the wheels of this Land Cruiser, it's fitted with R18s, it's a stock from the Toyota factory, the alloy wheels. The suspension of the Land Cruiser is just, is just heavens away. So this J200 body has been used since September 2007, so it's not exactly a new uh, body. However, Toyota has been making differences to it, like facelift in terms of the taillights. This is new for the 2018-2019 model. So they are very, very nice, however, are kind of expensive to replace. So the Land Cruiser tail lights uh, use LED instead of the regular ones. Personally, I think they're one of the nicer uh, tail lights as compared to uh, anything in this variant. They're very similar to the Lexus's uh, uh, type of tail lights. So one thing I do like about the Land Cruiser is that it is fitted with stock uh, parking detectors in the back from the factory. The downside to this is that I do not know why Toyota did this, but they cheaped out on a reverse camera. Imagine guys, it's a 4 to 5 million peso car without the reverse camera. So the car is a Dubai version, meaning it is fitted with this stripe that goes all the way to the back. This is a very classic decal and it's, it's a, almost a trademark of the Land Cruisers to have this. They've had it from the very first one after the FJ40. So this is the key of the Land Cruiser. It is very, very beautiful and very luxurious. It comes with a key hook right here. And if you turn it around, it has uh, alarm, unlock, and lock. In front, it just looks like a normal Hilux or Fraternity key. But in the back, of course, Land Cruiser. Now uh, is the part we're very excited about. Let's enter the Land Cruiser. So the Land Cruiser is fitted with a smart or iKey function, meaning that when you enter the car, there are no buttons here to open it, but simply the car detects it. And once it detects the key, you can just simply open it and the side mirrors unfold and you can enter the car. So upon opening the Land Cruiser, you are greeted with this very beautiful decal, the Land Cruiser decal. This one still has its sticker on. Uh, I'm not sure if the old ones have had this, but it's very luxurious. It lights up in color blue and the interior is all leather, literally all leather. Uh, it has some wooden trims on the sides and it does come with a sunroof and we'll get more to that later. It is just a very beautiful, beautiful car. So the seats are automated, meaning you can move them forwards, backwards or lower in terms of cushion. And uh, this one is for the recliner. So it is all automated, the passenger and the driver's seat. So upon entering the Land Cruiser, you simply... Uh, man, I'm actually I'm in awe right now because of how beautiful it truly um, is. And here nice. are some of the other controls in terms of the parking detector, um, in terms of the side mirror and in terms of um, fog lights and etc. So you are greeted with wooden trims right here on the left. Wooden trims that go all the way to the passenger seat and then all the way from the side to the very very back. And then we have here a steel um, trim which is uh, in my opinion I've never noticed it before but man it's just so beautiful. It is so smooth and it makes the car look like it's worth a lot more. So now we simply put the key away and press the push start button so simply depress on the brake and um, start the car. So I'm not sure if you guys saw that but I am gonna repeat it one more time. Upon starting the car, the steering wheel automatically moves lower as a sort of a function and it is just really beautiful. You're greeted with the Land Cruiser stripe and the dials go up and down. For the gauge, we have temperature here, oil pressure here, a feature that was lost in the newer cars. All older cars 
somehow had this. Uh, we have voltage on the right and then we have fuel on the lower right. As for the dials, it goes up to about 260 and RPM natin is up to about 4,500. As for the gauge infotainment, we just simply change them through here through a left and right arrow. So first what we have is fuel mileage or fuel consumption. So this one uh, was used in the city I think so it consumes 7.2 kilometers per liter. You move over to the right and you have I think the four wheel drive or the two wheel drive functions. And then uh, if you turn the wheel left and right uh, it also follows it. And I think that's a very cool feature. Uh, to the right, we have messages. I think this is for the Bluetooth feature. What we have here also is range. Uh, we have an after reset uh, kilometer reading. We have an echo indicator. We have speed. And as for the transmission of the car in the gear shifter, we have P, reverse, neutral, and drive. And if you move it over to the left, we have the manual shifting process. And as for driver's side features, we have a memory uh, seating control here and I believe um, it is not on the passenger side. As for window controls we have an all auto indicator here meaning that all of them uh, can go down with simply just one click. One click. And as for the head unit of the Land Cruiser, it is pretty regular in my opinion, but we do have navigation. We have Bluetooth, radio, disc, iPod, auxiliary in, USB, and setup. So not really special uh, in terms of uh, the price. Uh, we have here the clock that can be uh, set up with these buttons right here. We have a passenger seatbelt indicator uh, and then a lock indicator if the car is locked. And we have dual aircon which means that the passenger or the driver can choose different aircon settings if the driver on the left prefers um, 19 degrees Celsius and if the passenger prefers a hotter ride then uh, they can do that too so the Camry also has this dating back to at least maybe 2007 or 2006 so it's not a very uh, new uh, feature for the Toyotas. And as for the charging um, port, it is right here, the cigarette lighter adapter. And right below that, you have um, aircon controls na naman. Uh, this one is for the heated seats and this one is for cooling of the seats. Both passenger and driver have them. This is for the USB and so this is the low 4 indicator. There is a 4 low um, indicator right here. What this does is that you can run basically 4 wheel drive. Uh, in slow speeds from 5 to 10 so this is what you use when you climb up the mountains what this does naman is that you can drive the car uh, with the four wheel drive options in uh, a bit of a higher speed but only until 15 or 20 so it's still not much only to be used up in the mountains and another uh, knob here is for the crawl or MTS feature meaning I think this is more of like hill assist or climb assist uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. Traction control is also here. This is for the hill climb assist as well. So don't um, quote me on it. So if you guys know much more about these features, then please tell me. But uh, man, wow, there are just so much features here. ECT power, ECT second. So if you guys know it, can you please explain it in the comments so that everyone can learn from it too? And um, yeah, thank you guys. And one button I found here, which is really, really weird. I do not know what this means and I do not know why they have it. It is a idle up button. I don't know what happens when you do this. And as for the middle console here, we have cup holders actually. We have cup holders here covered with a very sleek design that rolls up really, really nicely. It's very smooth. And right here, I believe we have a cool box. A cool box is actually a feature that Toyota has had for a very long time. 1995, the Toyota Crown had it. A indoor or car freezer or fridge. And for my personal favorite part of the vehicle, there is a sunroof that here that you have to manually stroll back. And then the sunroof settings are right here. It says up and down, open and close. So let's start with up and down. Also, oh, that simply pulls up the window so that there is a small opening here for when you would when you just want to feel the cool breeze maybe of Tagaytay or Baguio and um, simply put pull it back down and then pull over the open or close lid so it does that automatically for you it is automated as well you don't necessarily have to keep your hand on it and um, there it is and to close it simply 
uh, hold on the close button and it automatically does it for you and it seems like it seals very nicely in there so let's just close that right now so these are the rear seats of the Land Cruiser it is fit for the VIP person it is huge like, it is honestly really really huge as for the rear seats of the Land Cruiser we are also fitted with a dual aircon control for the rear seats so just imagine there are four aircon controls in this car and this is simply uh, what you would want for yourself and this is what you would want for your passenger so it's very similar to what is in front the modes are basically where you want the air to blow in your face but these are in the off setting so I believe the car in front could already fill out and make the whole car cold so I don't think this is a very necessary feature you also have a cigarette lighter port here for chargers as for the rear of the car you simply open the trunk there's a button here it does not and pressing on it would unlock the higher area and then this here's a hook that you can uh, simply pull down and this will open the back so to put back the trunk or the the rear door you simply pull this up and then pull this back down the land cruiser there's a hook here that you simply pull up and uh it is not heavy it automatically comes up on its own. The battery is here. I believe this is maybe a 2SM or a 3SM. Air filter box is right here. It is huge, guys, but there's still a lot of space here for customization, although I do not think you should do that. Power steering fluid is right here. And this is, uh, I believe, where you should fill the water. And then we have the covering of the engine right here. It is just a huge, 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 huge engine, guys. And then we have insulators right here so that the hood is not very hot but all modern cars do come with that already. Now is the favorite time of our review and it is an opportunity to drive the 2018-2019 VX top of the line Land Cruiser. So simply, you press on the pedal, press on the push start, steering wheel goes down and we are ready to go. So as I am driving the car right now, first impressions are that it is just huge. However, it is very comfortable, very, very smooth and um, Maybe an hour of driving or maybe even 30 minutes of driving would get you used to its size. Uh, the steering is very, very loose. The suspension seems really, really tight. And um, it just feels like it is uh, lower to the ground despite it being such a high car. That's just how good the suspension is. Of the All right, guys. So thank you. This has been the review of the 2018-2019 Toyota Land Cruiser. So if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a comment. Please leave a like. Subscribe for more honest or regular car reviews. If you guys have any recommendations, please put them down and I will get to them one by one with my team. So it's been a while since I last uploaded. So I'm very, very excited for the next couple of months because we intend to upload every week. And if you guys have any recommendations of cars that you would want or you actually own, uh, a car that you would want to get reviewed just shoot me a message uh, my team will get around it and we will get to you we will message you and we'd love to review your car so thank you guys